Hey everybody, so it seems like everybody's lost their shit over the new Sun and Moon anime for Pokemon. Bruh, this is how you can tell half of these motherfuckers are running off X and Y hype and not really looking at the content of the series. Um, people, and, and that, that's what's going to make this a fun ass season to go through. It's going to make it a fun-ass region to go through in terms of the games and a fun-ass region to watch through the anime. Because people will see how... Because all... Man, let's just kind of get into it. So, for those who don't know, and it's what I've talked about in the last video, the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime uh, got its first teaser image, and then we finally got our first trailer for the anime. And people lost their goddamn minds, primarily because they pretty much did exactly what you thought they were gonna do. Was the pro? It's funny. The issue that people have with the way Ash looks is partially due to the animation, which is because they changed the way they're doing the animation again, and two because he looks so much younger. And I'm like, but that's what they did in Diamond and Pearl. They made him look. Was it? It's either Diamond and Pearl or Hoenn. Not Hoenn. Uh, it might, it's either Diamond and Pearl or it's black and white. They made him look younger again. Like, he already looks young. Like, when you take Ash from where he looked up into probably, I think, Hoenn. Because I think Diamond and Pearl is when he got a redesign. No, it was Hoenn. I mean, it was Unova. I keep saying Hoenn. Unova is when he got his redesign, and that was his first redesign to look younger. That's what they did, and people shitted on Unova for it. And then they continued that design up until X and Y, and now it seems like they're changing it again. Which makes sense, considering this is a series that's primarily going to be based around school and lessons and shit. So I'm not fucking surprised that they're doing that. I'm also interested in the fact that we've already, since we've seen the new anime footage, we've seen that Team Skull appears pretty early on in the series, which is a first. Usually Team Rocket, Team Magma, Team Aqua, Team Plasma, Team... Uh, Galactic did not show up that early game. I think maybe Team Aqua and Team Magma might have. Or there at least were hints leading towards those two groups early on. But the point I'm making is they weren't really featured heavily during that whole situation. And it's obvious that the animators were like, look, the games are going for a diff different approach, so we can't do the stereotypical ash going for all the gems so they decided well why don't we just take all the characters that we know of put them in a class together and do a school thing uh but people are so fucking salty right now and that's that's the primary focus of this video the salt that people have because of the redesign and the animation quality and how different this is and why is that because pokemon because oh how could they do this how could they change the way Pokemon is handled, even though they've been subtly doing that throughout the seasons? I think X and Y showed most people that Ash is not going to win. And if he does win, it won't be until the very end of the X, until the series of Ash's story anyway. And you can tell, and you've noticed probably since Black and White, they've been playing around with the idea of having a secondary anime series focus on the seri more serious side of Pokemon. I mean, that's what you, that's what Pokemon Origins was. That's what the black and white teaser images were. T teaser anime previews we got were. Fucking this Pokemon Generations thing that they're doing now. It's the same shit. It's, it's playing around with the idea of having a secondary anime series that's more serious and focused. My problem is, prim is what I said my problem with Origins was. The fucking character designs are ass. But you can see all the dick writers are leaving now. If you've noticed, ever since we found out League Ash lost that League match against Alon, it's like all the dick writers of X and Y have just slowly left the building. They're just fucking gone. They're fucking, they're just like, whoop, I gots to go, I gots to go. And why is that? Because the animation, because for one, Sun and Moon's animation doesn't look like it's on the same level at least at a just at least at first glance as x and y's animation and then two and that's really what it was it was the fucking animation it was animation and the possibility that x and y, the ash might win the league this time you know everybody started riding the dick of fucking x and y all of a sudden and that's the, that's the sad thing is that x and y will have a ridiculous amount of fanfare primarily due to its animation that's a lot of the reason why x and y is getting the praise that it gets is because of his animation, which I've talked about before. And it kind of pisses me off because that means that the other regions that actually had good parts of it based on, like, legit merits 
will be negated over X and Y primarily because of his animation quality. And it's funny as hell to see how all the people watching Sun and Moon are dissing the fuck out of Sun and Moon primarily because of the animation. People are way too fucking superficial, superficial this generation. And I'm not even talking about like Pokemon. I'm talking about just in general. This generation of people, of, of people consuming entertainment, we become such dick riders of good animation. Or not even good animation, but like amazing animation. It's like, oh, look at how amazing the, the Pokemon animation got. And like, yeah, but the characters were still trash. <laughs> oh my god. And that, and that was the fucking, and that's what I find fucking hilarious. People wanted me to talk about, what are your thoughts on the trailer? Well, the trailer looks fine. I mean, the trailer looks like it's doing exactly what it said in the previews. There's not too much to really talk about, except that almost all the trial captains are here. We've seen all the trial captains in the preview. We've seen Lily in the preview. We've seen, oh, we didn't see no Serena, though. We actually, and then I think some people on Cerebi found, like, a magazine page where you actually see, like, Ash's mother, Dil uh, Dilia. So, and you don't see Serena there either. So, needless to say, I don't think we have to be concerned with Pokemon Sun and Moon's anime taking anything from fucking... From X and Y, which is a thank God moment because realistically, I don't know. People dick rot Serena so hard primarily because of the fucking, oh, look, it's it's shipping. It's, it's bullshit-ass shipping. Like, I give a fuck about shipping in Pokemon. Why the fuck do people care about shipping in Pokemon? It's fucking Pokemon. If they weren't going to ship Ash and, Ash and Misty together, which was the one they were heavily pushing the most, why the fuck all of a sudden, after all these years, after all these girls, all of a sudden he wants to be like, oh, I'm going to ship fucking Serena of all characters. Fuck Serena. Serena just became another dulled down version of May and Dawn with less character than both of those. And I don't give a fuck what anyone tells you. That's what she is. She's a very uninteresting character. Um, and as I said, I'm, 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 I'm staying objective about Sun and Moon. I'm not going to judge or even talk really seriously criticize Sun and Moon until I see the animation, until I see like the first few episodes of it to judge how the tone and how the feel of the series is going to be. Uh, because ch them changing the game is primarily due to probably the games and probably the fact that it's been 20 fucking years and you're going to have to do something different. Pokemon does not reach the same demographic the way it was before, but it has to keep some level of appeal and progression. You can't just take out the core of Pokemon and make it where he doesn't have a team or he's not doing anything. He has to be doing something in relation to the games. The gym matches were cool, except within the last like region, X and Y being the worst of it, they just stopped giving gym leaders personalities and quirks and shit. Like realistically, X and Y was pretty bad with his gym leaders and that was the games and the anime. So I'm not even shitting on the anime here. It's not, I'm, I'm not really against the way it's going. I, I want to just see it. Like, people are so down on this shit because it's different. But I'm like, you, you've had, like, five generations, or six, actually, of the same shit just done in slightly different ways. Whereas, like, Hoenn and, and Diamond and Pearl were fucking clones of each other in terms of premises. And then you had fucking Unova and, Di and X and Y, which were relatively different than what we were used to. X and Y being kind of a callback to Hoenn in some aspects, uh, along with maybe certain aspects of, like... No, Hoenn is what it probably was the calling back the most to. And then probably with some mixture of... And then Unova was definitely a callback to J Kanto. That's a, that's a fact. Um, I think they just want to try something different. Because, you know, if, if, if Ash is going to be stuck in this perpetual 10-year-old state... It's not good to have him have these episodes in which he progresses and gets a team that's so strong and broken, only to have him proceed and go into a league and get his shit rocked. This, and as I said, this has probably been one of his more respectable losses in a while, but still, the point is, no one wants to keep seeing a character they've been watching for this many years fall to the same amount of bullshit he's always been falling for. Um, people just need to fucking shut up and wait. I mean, like, literally, this shit premieres in less than, like, two months. Sit your ass down and wait. You're going to dick ride it if the animation gets better. And you'll say, fuck it. Because X and Y, for all the praise that it's getting, it got, it's currently getting, the animation has been consistently good in X and Y the whole fucking time. 
and no one said anything about X and Y until we got to the league. Well, at least not the dick writing didn't start until we got to the league, which doesn't make any fucking sense to me because X and Y has consistently been good. So that even shows you how fucking flip floppy half of the quote unquote fans of the Pokemon anime are. Oh, look, he's in school now. And then you have, and then, and then you can tell the ones who aren't Pokemon fans at all and just got onto it because it was popular. Because these are the motherfuckers who look at Ash doing the, oh, how you do the fucking pose. I forgot, it's the Z move pose, but I forget how you do it. I want to do a proper representation of the pose. I don't remember how you do it. It's, how is that pose look? There we go. They do the Z move pose, and you have people in the back going, what's that weird pose he's doing or some shit? Like, like you can, you can tell these are the people who aren't even following the anime, aren't even following the game news right now. That's how you can spot a fake ass Pokemon channel. The ones that can't even tell the Ash is doing a fucking Z move in the cover art. Because he's doing a fucking Z move, guys. That's what this is. You may not know this because you're not really fans of the anime, but you know. It's just something I wanted to talk about. Because I, it was funny as fuck to see everybody just dip out. And obviously the anime got rad because the animation is very weird. I don't know how I feel about Ash's change in look. But realistically, it was the same opinion I kind of had when he went from, like, Diamond and Pearl look to fucking Black and White, where, his, where he got weirdly younger. And people shitted on that design. The reason why this is a lot worse is because this is noticeably Ash is way younger. They made his face chubbier. He looks way less mature and detailed than he does. And that's partially because of the animation style, because they make him look younger again. Because of the whole Ash is perpetually 10 thing. And obviously they're playing around with the idea of having a more mature series like with all this Pokemon Generation stuff and the black and white promotional anime and the Mega Evolution acts which are slightly more serious and delving into the idea of having uh, different shit. And this animation quality isn't anything different. As someone who watches One Piece, who watches the One Piece anime, I'm not used to... This animation style is about what I expect. Now, whether it's good or not remains to be seen, but we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. This has been your boy, Schizomanic. Life's insane. Have a good day. Peace. Oh, that is a terrible ending, but fuck it. We'll, we'll, we're still figuring this out. I need to do something about that. I really do.